So we're going on a road trip. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to ride an e-bike? <laughs> I guess I asked the wrong question. So you want to ride a Suron? <laughs> So what is up guys and girls? I am Mr. E from NYC. And where am I headed today? I am going on a group ride. Now here on the East Coast, it has been cold. We've seen snow, a good amount of rain, but today the temperatures are somewhat mild and I'm gonna ride. Now if you are like me and haven't ridden in a while, there might be a few things that you wanna check before you hit the street. One of the things that you're gonna wanna do is check your tire pressure. So that's what we're looking at right now. We need a little air. All right, so now I'm at 33 pounds. Time to check the back. Okay, that's how we're looking in the rear. Looks like we need some air. And that's how we're looking now. And now you're ready to ride. In today's video, we will be hitting the streets of Philadelphia. Now what's awesome about these group rides is that you get to ride the streets with the people that live there. So in today's video, we will be meeting a ton of new people as well as seeing it from their eyes, their perspective. We'll be able to hit the streets in a way that we wouldn't normally if we were just visiting. So we'll be meeting new people as well as the e-bikes that they ride. And I'm curious as to what type of modifications they've made. So in today's ride, I will be rocking the Onyx RCR, which is powered by powerful lithium. I am not bringing my charger because my battery is fully charged and I know that I can get in at least 74 miles, riding at about 40 miles per hour. Now, if you want to ride anxiety free, like me, you just might want to pick up one of these. Powerful Lithium has a long list of e-bikes that they've already made batteries for, and they can all be made at different voltages as well as amp hour capacity. Now, if you're looking on that list and you're getting worried because you don't see your e-bike there, don't worry. All you need to do is DM them on Instagram, hit them an email, or give them a call because they are notorious for making customized e-bike batteries. And if you want to save 100 bucks, use my code, Mr. E NYC. So without any further ado, let us get into this one. Watch when you get bumps, bro. You're gonna I break know. the fucking. I thought the five volts was here. I gotta go slow this shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or put it on top. Is he making the announcement? Taps is here. He can. Uh, <laughs> I got the one. Talk? Uh, I can't talk right now. What's up, man? You can't talk? I can't talk right now. Yeah, he's bundled up in this. Yeah, he can. He got his foot not drawn on, too. I'm here in Philadelphia, PA. We're gonna hit the streets in Philadelphia. <laughs> These are the guys that came out for a group ride today. Alright, I'm Kurt from Philly E Riders. We're gonna do a scenic route show Mr. E to the Liberty Bell and stuff like that. We're gonna do like 20 miles and then we're just gonna chill. Let's go. Let's go.
This group ride should be a lot of fun. I see a lot of people out there going uh, really. that Philadelphia has to offer. Someone mentioned the, the Liberty Bell. Double deck of buses, remnants of New York City. That's the Liberty Bell. This is Independence Hall there. And a block up on the right past that septa bus is Ben Franklin's graveyard. So we can go see that too, because it's right by the entrance where you can look in. And then around the corner from there, it's Betsy Ross house. And if you want, we can go to Edgar Allan Poe's house and see that too. <laughs> All right? Sounds like a plan. And then down there is Betsy Ross house. Sounds like a plan. Get everybody, not just me. Okay. People react like differently, you know, all the people, so. Yeah, let's okay. go. You want me to hold your phone? No. Betsy Ross house. She lived there from 1752 to 1836. From here we'll go down, we'll go like I said to the to the park, and then after that we'll go to Edgar Allan Poe house.
call my fucking <laughs> your manager? Yeah, my manager. We're gonna talk. Nah, it's on. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go from video. here. We're going to the bed. Where are we right now? I don't know. What's the name of this park? I don't even know. I don't know. It's Chinatown Park. I don't know the name of it. Nah, because they do all China stuff here. Like, they got a uh, miniature golf thing over there. Did you see that? No, no, no. Uh, all right. Well, from here, we're going to go to the Edgar Allan Poe house, and then that'll conclude our tour of the day. <laughs> so you can leave me the hell alone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is the famous poet from back in the day. I was a kid, I got pictures. His wings are like that. The very next pictures, his wings are down. Swear to God, bro, I actually have pictures of it. Ain't nothing funnier than a bunch of e-bike riders at a gas station. That's why we came here. Is it everybody out here using chihuahuas? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's the thing right now. Yeah, I was I with you all night. And then you got the, the eagles in the front. Hey, the 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 that's my that's my Instagram. You can light that, bro. Yo, I told him to bring it out, dude. Uh, one of the things that I looked forward to when I was coming down here was meeting people that do custom work to there. So basically, yours really definitely it caught my eye, and that's that's the heart of this. So just start off by telling me who you are, uh, maybe uh, why you got into uh, to e-bike riding. I don't know what your history is. Hey, what's up? My name is uh, Matt. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, I got an e-bike riding because uh, as a kid I always liked the future stuff. The future's here, we're here. I was a big fan of Akira and hybrid bikes. And these are totally electric now. So I dibbled and dabbled with the scooters and then I started grabbing the bikes. And I started with the MX-4, let it evolve a little bit. I wanted a surround really, but I seen there was potential here. So I grabbed this and so far, this is where I'm at with my MX4. So, surroundworld.shop, I went to to get uh, my fenders done, and I got them uh, purple, forged carbon with chrome flakes. Uh, it took about three to four months to revive and come back. So I was waiting on them, and I got a uh, wrap, the EDC wrap, forged carbon, with uh, the gloss and the speckle shine. And then I bought a bunch of stickers, slapped them on it, you know, race style. Uh, 
Warp 9 upgrade. Warp 9 handlebars. <laughs> uh, covered the seat. The, just just bought a, a sheet to cover this, stapled it onto the factory. You know. Uh, warp 9 pegs I did so far. Uh, changed the color to brackets. Colorful uh, washers. Different mounts. I'm working on the insides now. Gonna get a torque probably. But uh, I upgraded the, the wheels to 21 inch in the front and the 18 in the back. Number badge. Oh, Fisher. Fisher light with the uh, prickly uh, mount. And what is this? This is from anime, One Piece sticker. Like okay. I said, I like anime, okay. all this stuff. To well, me. What, what episode are you up to? Um, you said One Piece, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completed. I gotta get back on it, <laughs> but I'm pretty deep into it. You know, it's forever. Uh, yeah. One Piece long. Yeah, it's like, like it's long. never ending that. Yeah. All right. Uh, Anything else you want to add? Yeah, like I said, now it's time to upgrade. Since I did all the aesthetics on the outside, I'm ready. I'm ready to go inside now. All right, that's what's up. Um, you started off with your name, right? Yes. And you did you mention your Instagram or anything like uh, that? No, I can't. Even. Yeah, yeah. Throw it in there just in case somebody wants to follow you. Uh, yeah, my uh, my Instagram is uh, at harrisplamo.com. <laughs> you know, that's an uh, email too. If you want to get at me? Do customs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, at harrisplamo. All right, that's Paris what's up. All right, sounds like good. You enjoying the ride? Yeah! All right. <laughs>
other part of the town. It kind of just fast like what uh, reminds me of Skid Row in California. Four volts, me too. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm not sure. Did you log how many miles we've ridden? What do you have? 23, that's it? Oh, not that bad. And these guys are hungry already for the, for the juice. All right, not to knock anybody, but what are we doing over here? We're about to gamble, right? <laughs> we're about to gamble. I got my ribbon card right here. We're, about, we're going inside, we, we and we're going to try to turn this 100 into 500. We're and then gambling. we're going you rolling. <laughs> so what's everybody else doing? Charging up, I'm about to smoke up. You know. <laughs> you gotta start, you gotta sit in the sun for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna call y'all war huggers. Yeah, buddy. War huggers for a little bit. All right, so some of us are gonna charge. Some of us are gonna eat. I think I'm gonna hang out with the guys that are gonna eat, and uh, we'll catch up with the ride a little later. Eating. We are eating now. Where, where are we? Lorenzo's Pizza. Lorenzo's Pizza. What part of Philly is this? South Philly. Is it South Philly? And uh, we're on the famous South Street. Apparently, giants live here. <laughs> Look at the size of that slice. Burned my hand. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm talking like about. I told you. I told you. <laughs> How's it? It's good. All right. So not only is it big, but it's it's tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna find out right now. Well, yeah, you're a New Yorker, so. All right, it's getting dark and cold. We might be wrapping this one up. All right, so we're headed back to where this all started, and that's the Philadelphia Art Museum. All right, so I am back where it all started. We did about 32 miles today. I started with about 83.2 volts. I'm down to 76.9. Thank you, powerful lifting. All right, my baby is loaded up and we are good to go. Fucking YouTube title. All right, and Matt is loaded and he is good to go. Oh, it'd be a shame not to say goodbye to everybody. So we started with 18? Yeah. We started with 18. And now we're down to three. three. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's cold, though. it was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting I had a lot of fun. It was it's good great. seeing you and meeting up again. Absolutely. We got to do this again. Yes, we definitely. For sure. Uh, he has a, a YouTube channel now, right? Yes. You didn't have it before, right? I did, but uh, I didn't have a whole lot of content up there now. Oh. But now I got it. Videos. Some are taking traction, some are not. <laughs> All right, that is the uh, the Talaria Triple X that we unboxed together. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to follow along on his journey, I'll include his uh, his YouTube channel in the description below. Yep. Uh, I don't know your channel, but he'll he'll send it to yeah. me. Yeah, and pretty much a lot of the guys that you saw today, I'm gonna ask for their information. And if you want to follow any of them, just check the description down below. I'm gonna end this like I do all my videos. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking cold. It's getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate and smash that like button. Leave a comment. I get back to everybody. And if you want to, please subscribe. So until next video, peace out, everybody. Do your ass a favor and take a seat on the Cadillac. <laughs> On the Cadillac. <laughs>